questions? Yes. Um, so the question is, in the presentations, do, you, do I want you to lay out why this is the claim, why is it the reason, why is it the evidence? Um, ideally, yes. Uh, you, 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 yeah, I, I would like you, you know, this, you know, I want to identify this is the claim and then explain why, you know, why is it the claim, how does it fit with the other pieces? Yes, um, that would be the best presentation. Yeah. Okay. Yes? Oh, on that particular example? So, um, you know, the claim is that um, people still use images in order to communicate. And the reason is to say, well, um, what's, how do we know this? It's because um, images are, um, create this sort of, he says, vivacity. Um, in the speech. It makes the speech more colorful, I suppose, more exciting. And that's the reason that, that people still use images in their speech. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, uh, what were the characteristics of early language according to Warburton? Yes? Right, mixture of speech and signs, words and actions. Good. I mean, and he also says it's kind of primitive and rudimentary, right? But, but the, the basic thing is that, yes, yeah, it's this mixture of, of words and actions. Yeah? And why are actions still used as signs in the Bible, according to Warburton? Yes? Because they're easier to understand by everyone, and they're very lively and exciting. Good, okay. They, they, they make it easier for people to understand and they make the, the, the language lively and exciting, you know, and they, it sort of makes a better impression on people or, or, or a, a sort of a, a deeper impression, okay? Okay. 